So in this video, we'll study how the dollar index, it impacts the equity markets as well as the commodities. So let's start with how the dollar strengthening or weakening impacts the yeah, stock markets, especially the emerging markets. Okay, so we'll take, a, take up an example. So let's consider the dollar value is at 75, 75 in the sense, the rupee against the dollar is at 75. So let us consider that a foreign investor is investing in India and at the moment it is 75. Okay, so let's take an example, a particular stock, uh, let's consider X stock is at 75 rupees and this foreigner has invested $1 today and bought one share of this particular company, particular company X. Okay, so what is going to happen is, let's consider after two years, the stock hasn't moved much. The stock uh, in rupee terms is still trading at 75 rupees okay the stock is trading at 75 rupees but in those two years no, the rupee has strengthened so when your rupee goes up that is rupee from 75 has strengthened to 70 so what happened here is as the dollar index goes down your rupee strengthens so if your dollar index is going down your rupee is strengthening so that is what has happened here so the rupee has strengthened from 75 to 70 okay now in this scenario this particular uh, foreign investor what he does is he sells this particular stock x okay at 75 rupees so he has sold it at 75 and now he is converting it back to dollar so when he does that so how many dollars does he get so now the dollar is 70 against the rupee right so if you divide this by 70, no, 75 divided by 70, that is going to give you somewhere around 1.07 or 1.08. So even though the stock hasn't done much, the stock which he bought was at 75 two years ago, even now it is at 75. But because of the rupee strengthening and the dollar index falling, right? The dollar has weakened and the rupee has strengthened. Because of that, he has still made 7 to 8% on his investment. So that this is why whenever you see the dollar index actually moving down, a lot of these foreign guys start taking money out of the US market and then start deploying it into emerging markets. Okay, so this is one scenario. The next scenario is when the dollar index actually increases. Okay, so in that scenario, what is going to happen is if it becomes 80, right? So the dollar becomes 80 against the rupee. What is going to happen is in, in the, we'll take up the same example. So that guy is going to sell the his stock after two years for 75. So initially he invested $1, bought that stock at 75. After two years, the stock hasn't done much, but then the rupee has weakened. The dollar index has gone up and the rupee has weakened. So the dollar is 80 against the rupee. So now he is going to get less than one. Maybe let's say he has lost some 7 or 8, eight odd percent. Maybe or even less. Maybe 6, 6 or odd percent he has lost. 6, 6 and a half percent. Just because of the rupee weakening from 75 to 80 so from 75 if it has weakened to 80 this is what is going to happen so that is why whenever the dollar index moves up and down you will see a lot of inflows and outflows accordingly in especially in the emerging markets this applies to india as well okay so now what uh, these people feel is over the next few years the dollar index might actually start moving down and that is why a lot of these foreign investors are actually very bullish on the emerging markets. Okay. So this is the impact of dollar index on the stock markets. Now we'll see how the dollar index actually impacts the commodities. Okay. So the same if we consider for let's say petrol, what is going to happen is let's say petrol prices are 75 as of now. Although it is above 100, but let's consider for this example, if it is uh, $1 as of now, okay, 
so as you know all most of these commodities all almost all the commodities they trade in usd right so if the dollar against the rupee 75 and uh, the barrel uh, let's say one liter is selling for one dollar okay so when it is 75 the normal indian uh, common guy he is going to sell 75 rupees and buy that okay I'm just taking an example, okay, although you have taxes and all of that, but let's keep that aside. Let's consider this is 75. So this person is going to spend 75 rupees to buy a liter of petrol. If the rupee is going to strengthen, that is it becomes 70. That is your dollar index is falling and your rupee strengthening. So if it becomes 70, then for to purchase that one liter right he needs to spend less so the purchasing power is going to increase for all these smaller nations whenever the dollar index goes down all these commodities relatively become cheaper so that is why the purchasing power goes up and that in increases the demand for these particular commodities okay so the same guy now would now be buying the petrol for just 70 bucks so what is going to happen all those who felt that okay at 75 it is costly at 70 they might start to buy more of it same way if it goes to 80 no from 75 it, it goes to 80 that is your dollar index has gone up and your rupee has gone down so in that scenario what is going to happen even that guy who was buying it at 75 he might feel that okay this is now relatively more expensive let me cut down on my expenses right so that is what happens when the dollar index moves up and down so it impacts even the commodity market as well so a dollar strengthening is actually bad for the commodities bad for the equity markets especially the uh, emerging markets okay and the dollar weakening is good for the uh, emerging markets and is good for the commodities as well and over the next few years as per the study uh, the economists feel that the dollar index should be heading lower. Okay, hope uh, this was able to clear most of your doubts. Thank you.